Hi everyone, it's Lauren and these are the things that I am planning to read from January through to March. I do not do monthly TBR lists as some people do because I am very bad at sticking to plans, even if they are plans made by myself. So, but I do like to have a bit of structured reading. Um, so what happened was I have the first week of January off of work and I got loads of books out from under my bed where they all live. And I was thinking, right, I'm gonna get through some stuff while I'm off this week. I'm gonna read loads. And I just kept pulling books out and then looking back at the pile there's like 20 books so obviously I'm not going to get those read this week um it's Friday now so yeah I've not read them like that's what's happened but they are out from under the bed now which helps them in their quest to be read because it means that they are visible to me and um I'm much more likely to read them so this is my pile now so first things I definitely want to read uh, which I've actually started already are The Waves and Orlando by Virginia Woolf um so I am going to see the Wolf Works uh, Ballet, which is being put on by the Royal Ballet uh, in a couple of weeks. And that is a set of three different dances, each one uh, based on a different book. It's Mrs. Dalloway, Orlando and The Waves. I've read Mrs. Dalloway, haven't read these two. So I wanted to try and read them before I go and see the ballet. Um, it's, it's just based on her writing. It's not kind of like a ballet of the plot of any of these books, but I just thought it'd be interesting to have a little bit of knowledge about what she was writing about so these are kind of my first priority um, I don't know whether I'll finish both of them in time the next that is definitely on my list is Kissing the Witch by Emma Donoghue this is a set of short stories uh, which was a present for me uh, from Jean for Christmas and this is also the pick for the Feminist Orchestra book club for January so since she bought it for me and since uh, that's the pick of her book club I feel like I had better read it I wanted to read it for a while she recommended it to me ages ago um, and I really enjoyed Emma Donoghue who's writing, she's the author of Room and uh, The Wonder, among other things. Then what I thought I would do early this year is try and get through all of my newest books because I have a lot of kind of brand new books or arcs that were sent to me, uh, which I just haven't read and I want to read new stuff and I want to be able to recommend it uh, to you. So I've just got all of my newest books out. So the first two that I have were very kindly sent to me from Granta and they are Whatever Happened to Interracial Love and First Love. Uh, this first one, Kathleen Collins was a writer um, and activist in the 60s 70s in the US. This is a book of short stories which she wrote during that time but were never published in her lifetime. She very sadly died um, aged only 46 in 1988 and these have now been resurfaced and published. And First Love is about a woman and her husband. It's about her looking back at her marriage and everything that's happened in their marriage and also looking at other people she's loved in her life, so her father and other lovers she's had, I presume. Um, it's a very slim little novella so I think it's going to be quite a ponderous novel which I think sounds really interesting. And I haven't read very much Gwendolyn Riley, so I'm looking forward to being introduced to some new writing. The next one is My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall, and I've had this book for ages, and I just haven't read it. And I've heard so many good things about it. A lot of my friends have read it and absolutely loved it. Um, all that I know, really, is that it's about two brothers, and one of them is white and one of them isn't. And it's about the issues that, I guess, arise in the family because of that. Um, and it just sounds like it's a heartbreaking read. But I've heard so many good things about it, so I can't really let that one slide. Another one I've had for ages, and I've also heard so many good things about, is A Manual for Cleaning Women by Lucia Berlin. This is a book of short stories. I think, generally, the reason I haven't read this is because it's just printed so large. And this is a proof copy from, like, a year and a half ago. Um, the actual printed book is smaller and more compact than this. But I think that's why I just kind of thought, oh, that's a really big book, and I've not heard of Lucia Berlin. But I wanted to read it and I've heard last year everybody was kind of raving about it who read it I've heard so many good things um so yeah it's just about time I actually read it but like I said it's out from under the bed now so it's actually in with a chance of getting read a few more recent releases we have The Good Immigrant which is uh, collated by Nikesh Shukla this is a group of essays and stories from 21 uh, BAME authors in the UK and it's talking about what it's like to be an immigrant or to be different or to be othered by society um so very timely and yeah I'm really really looking forward to this in a similar-ish vein I also have Mama Can't Raise no man by Robin Travis and this is the story of a young black guy in the UK in uh, Hackney I think and it's about him being thrown in prison in his 20s and kind of looking back on his past and learning what it's like to be a young black man to be a father to be a husband um, to be a son and it's written in sort of letters or texts or phone calls and it just looks looks really really interesting and that was published last year as well and there's also Swing Time by Zadie Smith uh, which has been quite well received I believe from what I've heard people have really enjoyed it. I haven't made my mind up on Zadie Smith yet whether I like her writing 
writing. I tend to kind of love it or just think it's okay. Um, this is about two friends who were friends up until the age of about 20 and then they weren't friends anymore. Uh, and one of them pursued dance and the other one didn't, I think. So uh, I'm just really looking forward to giving her another try. And finally, I have a bit of a rogue one. Rogue one, ha ha ha. And that's um, Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie, which again, I bought like so long ago and has just been lost in the piles of books under the bed. But I really wanted to shake up my reading a little bit and read a bit more fantasy and sci-fi this year. Um, this is the story of a starship and it's told from the ship's point of view, so it, you're following her. But apart from that, I'm like going into this completely blind. But it's just one of those ones, I mean, you all understand this. You watch booktube, you get it. Like you you just love books. You hear so many things about so many books. You think, wow, I've got to read that right away. But you know, reading books takes time. <laughs> I just have so many that I'm so excited about and yet I haven't read yet. So that's my kind of haphazard TBR list uh, for January to March. Um, I'm sure I'll read lots of other things as well, um, but these are just what I grabbed from when I last looked under my bed, and this is what I'm gonna have as a constant reminder. Probably, I'll probably put them in a pile here, uh, so every time I wake up I can see them and go, oh yes, that's what I need to read next. I think I go through a mad rush, I'm a bit like a kid in a candy shop after I've read a really long book, and you all know I, that I was reading Lord of the Rings throughout December, which obviously is one long continuous book, so now that I'm free to choose whatever and read stuff quite quickly. I'm like, ooh, do I want this one? Do I want this one? It's just, it's just too many. And I'm probably gonna, you know, get a bit sick and have a headache later. So let me know if you have read any of these because obviously I love getting book recommendations. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.